last 16 sort of fixture, European fixture on a Saturday night for the Ospreys? How does that feel? Yeah, no, it's good. Um, it's better not being involved at all. So, yeah, it's good we're still in the competition. Uh, something to play for. And, yeah, it's been a good week. So, everyone's looking forward to it. How different are these weeks to just sort of regular league league fixture, knowing what's at stake? Yeah, because they're knockouts, you know. Obviously, if you don't perform, you're out and you don't get another chance. So, uh, there's obviously a little bit more pressure to it. Um, and the boys obviously want to do well. And, yeah, we know we're playing against a very good team this weekend. So, we know we've got to be on, on the money. What do you make a sale, uh, Justin? Very good team. Very good team. Um, a lot of quality players. X factor out wide. Big men to get them over the gain line. Good driver more. Great kicking game. Um, very good coaches. And yeah, they seem to enjoy playing for each other when they're there. Um, you heard about the team atmosphere they got going on there. So yeah, we know it's going to be a tough game. Um, but we also know what what we're about. Uh, and the season so far, you've you know you've um, sort of you played very well. You're in the top eight at the moment. You're in the knockout stages. How have you felt the season's gone so far for the Ospreys? Uh, yeah, we're going okay. Um, we're going okay. We we've got our goals and we and we know where we want to be as a team. Um, yeah, we we we're probably quite um, harsh on ourselves sometimes. We want we want to do better, but I think that's that's the way it is here at the Ospreys. Really, um, we want to push ourselves on and. We, we don't use excuses and, yeah, we just want to try and win every game, basically. Different home venue. I think you missed the game at Christmas in terms of uh, average end. Uh, you played there before for the Ospreys. So what do yeah. you make of it? Yeah, no, um, obviously it's, um, yeah, it's just probably going back in time for me, um, yeah, a bit. So, uh, yeah, it's just looking forward to the game and, uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, but, yeah, you know, obviously the, the boys spoke highly of the atmosphere at, around Christmas time. You know, it'd be great if we could get similar type of atmosphere to back then, um, and yeah, make it a, a tough a tough day of the office for sale. Uh, you you had a little breakout injury, injury in force, Justin. You've come back now. The last couple of games, how are you feeling? Yeah, no, it's good. Um, yeah, obviously our sports is, injuries happen a lot, so um, yeah, it's just nice to be back on the pitch and uh, be back out there with the boys. And how are you feeling within yourself? I was saying to Toby earlier, you could run around like a 24-year-old last week, not a 34-year-old against the Lions. <laughs> How's the body feeling? Yeah, it's good, it's good. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, probably take a little bit, I won't lie, it takes a little bit longer to recover sometimes, but um, yeah, the, the mind still feels like it's a young boy, unfortunately, and um, yeah, the body's probably a little bit different. But um, no, I, I think the main thing I've always said, that I want to enjoy it, and uh, that's, that's the one thing with a... The group of players and staff we have here, they, they make it fun and you, you've got to enjoy yourselves when you're out there. So you're still enjoying it, Justin? How, how long do you think you'll be going on still enjoying it? Um, we'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, uh, when when the enjoyment goes, I'm not, I'm not uh, hanging around for the sake of it. Great, OK, good luck on the weekend, mate. Thank you. Rather than pension you off at the moment, uh, Justin, do all these youngsters coming through and, and you know, the development of the Ospreys want to keep you being part of it? Um, yeah, they, they, make, they, they make sure they tell me how old I am, the youngsters, that's for sure. But um, yeah, no, they, they're good kids and uh, they're good, good young men around the place. And um, no, it's, it's um, some good quality coming through. Uh, Funny enough, there was a picture of one of the boys I had uh, this morning of me after one of the Wales games, and they were only ten. So yeah, that was that was a bit weird. So um, yeah, we but it's good. It's good. It's good fun. Um, you've got to have probably the balance between the youngsters and a, a little bit of experience. Um, just from my early days of being here, you know, always helped when you had a um, bit of experience there to to pass down onto you. So um, yeah, just trying to probably fill the boots of the experience that we've had here before which was so good so um, yeah it's big boots to fill oh, It's a different era now from the Galacticos era when you were first coming through and uh, we all know about the financial background to that but it seems that a number of the regions there's an aspiration from these youngsters to come through and no fear uh, and in they go and look at the players in front of you in the front five who've just developed and come on and uh, it, it's been a remarkable change from the last couple of seasons. Yeah, no, boys are going well. Boys are going well. Um, and I think, like you said, um, there's probably the attitude, like they're not just happy about playing. They want to be making themselves better every week and making the team better. 
um, and they're not just happy to be out there just making their debuts. They want to keep pushing on individually and as a team. And uh, yeah, that's I think probably a bit more of the environment that we have here that uh, we're just not happy making the numbers up. Mm. The um, the sales side are pretty physical. I mean, every tackle is a personal assault, and their driving mall is very strong, and they destroyed uh, Exeter last week. But they came to Wales last year and lost. Yeah, no, no, they are. They are. They've got their strengths. Um, obviously, um, yeah, we know it's going to be a tough game. Um, they're a very good team and uh, we're very good individuals. So, yeah, like you said, it's, um, we've, we've got to be on the money, though. And, um, you know, like you said, they're probably using the come to Wales last year as their motivation as well. So we know they're going to be up for the game. So you won't have Tom Curry to fight against, but you've got his twin brother, who's not bad either, is he? Yeah, uh, Ben's a very good player. Yeah, he's very good. So, uh, yeah, we're going to gonna be a... Uh, good, good battle around the back row with, uh, with our back row and their back row. So um, yeah, everyone's got to be on a game, ready for it. And the uh, as the support you get from the sidelines, very con- confined ground compared to uh, the Liberty, and you know people come out, five thousand people hopefully or more sitting around there. How much of a boost will that give the team? Oh yeah, it's massive. It is massive, honestly. Um, just, just the. Like you said, probably around the ground, you hear every little voice that's going on, um, whether it's positive or negative. It makes a, it makes a difference for us just having those people around us and um, trying to put a show on for them. And finally, don't forget, I mean, Alan Wynn was 38 when he hung up his boots, but he hung it up too soon. So we expect to see you for a bit longer. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Best of luck. Cheers. Hi, Justin. Um, Toby mentioned, obviously, you're flying the flag for Wales this weekend and it's not the first European run you've had in, in recent seasons what, what sort of changed in the last few years since Toby's come in to, to allow you to become the team that is the standard bearer in Wales yeah no it's um, it's probably just obviously the environment and what he's done that from the start really I guess um, we still know in the year what, where we want to be so um, yeah it's just the start hopefully um, I think obviously last year um, losing to Saracens in the knockout stages um, was probably tough going um, but like yeah it was a great day out uh, the fans that we had at the game there the difference they made when we were up there was amazing so um, yeah we just want to you know obviously I know it's different competition but we want to try to go a little bit further and uh, keep pushing on because Toby's previously sort of referred to you as maybe more of a cup team what, what is it about these sort of fixtures these one off fixtures that, 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 that suit you as yeah. a squad. Yeah, we obviously still want to do well in a league. We don't just focus on, on the cup side of it. Um, you know, I think obviously being the part of the Ospreys always been to try to make the playoffs has always been our big goal. So, um, yeah, we don't don't look past the league. And then, yeah, obviously the, the cup runs is um, a one-off a one-off game and you just know you've got to be on your money for those games. Otherwise, you know, you, you, you don't go to the next, through the next stage. <laughs> 